What is up? This is your LA in a minute. Now we're at the Wallace Annenberg Wildlife Crossing, a monumental conservation project under construction here in Agora Hills, spanning over 10 lanes of the 101 freeway. Now I'm about to go up top because they've just completed a very important phase in the construction. And once the entire thing is completed in 2026, this will be the largest bridge of its kind anywhere in the world. Let's get into it. The timing of this milestone is bittersweet as the project's namesake, Wallace Annenberg, passed away yesterday at the age of 86 years old. Her contribution to Los Angeles and the world extended far beyond this project, and it's appropriate that something so important will bear her name for generations to come. For decades, the freeways of Los Angeles have created nearly insurmountable barriers for native wildlife. Mountain lions, bobcats, deer, coyotes, even monarch butterflies have all suffered from habitat isolation, genetic bottlenecks, and frequent often fatal vehicle collisions. The story of LA's beloved P-22, the famed mountain lion who miraculously crossed two freeways to reach Griffith Park, but ultimately became isolated, brought national attention to the plight of these animals and galvanized public support for a solution. And that's why this wildlife crossing is so important to help wildlife safely cross one of the busiest highways in the country. This project will literally help funnel these animals safely to their expanded habitat on both sides of the freeway, from the Simi Hills to the Santa Monica Mountains. Okay, so how are animals gonna know that this Wallace Annenberg Wildlife Crossing is the exact spot that they need to cross from here to there? Well, a lot of science goes into this. Departments, organizations have been studying the animals' migration patterns, the scent trails, the habitats in which they feel the most comfortable for more than three decades. And what they're doing in the construction of this bridge is thoughtfully creating or recreating a habitat that will know that they can facilitate the movement from one side of their habitat to the other safely. The scope of this project is beyond impressive. We're talking about 210 feet long, 174 feet wide. When all is said and done, it'll be 12 full acres of ecological restoration. And right here on top of the bridge already, this is 26 million pounds of stone and sand. And we haven't even talked about the native plants that are gonna to top this off. This fall, 5,000 native plants will be added to the living soil, creating a nearly one acre wildlife habitat on the bridge. This habitat will provide shelter, food, and water for the region's wildlife, bats, birds, and monarch butterflies, as well as supporting over 50,000 native plant and tree species across the bridge and its approaches. The idea for a wildlife crossing right here at Liberty Canyon was first identified in 1990. The project gained momentum in 2015 when the National Wildlife Federation and Caltrans proposed a massive corridor, but the scale and the cost meant it would require years of fundraising and broad community support. So why is the wildlife crossing built in this exact spot on Liberty Canyon and Agora Hills? Well, it turns out that this is a natural corridor between the Santa Monica Mountains and the Simi Hills where wildlife had transversed for centuries, if not millennia, prior to being severed by the 101 freeway. And the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy owns land on both sides of the 101 freeway right at this exact spot. So it made perfect sense to build the Wallace Annenberg Wildlife Corridor right here to allow those habitats to flourish once again. In 2016, the Annenberg Foundation, led by Wallace Annenberg, issued a pivotal $1 million challenge grant, later increasing its commitment to $25 million, which spurred thousands of additional donations from individuals, foundations, and corporations worldwide. The total project cost is estimated about 90 to $92 million, with 60% coming from private sources and the remainder from public conservation funds. Make no mistake about it, this wildlife crossing is a massive piece of infrastructure but it doesn't stop here. They still need to fill in this entire side right here to match and mimic the native habitat so the animals have a safe place to cross all the way through. So another important milestone has been completed in the construction of the Wallace Annenberg Wildlife Crossing here in Agoura Hills. With completion expected sometime in 2026, the world's largest wildlife crossing will be a monument, not just to Agora Hills, but to Los Angeles. And more importantly, it'll ensure that the neighboring communities remain a vital part of Southern California's natural heritage. All right, LA, it's been a minute.